Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we are checking out officially, this is the smartest, most intelligent model, not, not just open weight model, that's most intelligent model that there is at this very moment. Tokens a second wise, oh this one's fast, 24 tokens a second. Actually, wait up, check this out. We actually do have a spaceship, the longest piece of code I've seen in my life. Loading, wow, that is gorgeous. Like it's Kimmy K2, they're back with a thinking mode and they got heavy. Just look at this, humanity's last exam. It's got 23.9 and GPT-5, it's got 26.3 and Claude has got 19.8. So it's, it's up there with the top dogs. Now, if you add tool calling inside, it gets 44.9, which is more than GPT-5 and it's more than Grok 4. And if you add heavy mode, it gets 51. So humanity's last exam was meant to be the hardest test ever for these models. And they, they were they were like in the one digit until, until very, very recently. So now this, this open weight model, which you can run on your devices, I say devices, because you need your own local AI supercomputer. And we have that right now. We're gonna be running it on, on their servers to see the 100% version. And we also have a MacBook Pro, 128 gigabyte RAM. We've got a Mac Studio, 512 gigabyte RAM. We're gonna be combining them together to make our own little AI cluster. And we're gonna be running this guy. So over 560 gigabytes, we're gonna be running it and uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna start off with some basic tests. For example, some riddles and some creative writing and some coding. And we're gonna see what happens as it goes. And then I'm gonna be jumping in and running it locally on our devices to see how that compares. So, and I'm gonna do the surgeon, who is the boy's father, says, I cannot operate on this boy. He's my son. Who is the surgeon to the boy? Now, this is a very, very basic question. It's obviously the dad. But if you ask ChatGPT and if you ask Claude, they say it's the mum, because that is the, the idea of the riddle. Women can't be doctors, but clearly they can. Classic riddle, based on the wording, you've already stated the answer. The surgeon is the boy's father. However, I expect your thinking of the classic riddle and the answer to that riddle is the mother. So it got it right. It says that you've already given us the answer, thought about it, it got the right response. And it says that the answer of the traditional riddle is the mother. So it knows everything, this one. Very, very smart. Good, good, good job. Now, the runaway trolley option, previously uh, around Minimax, and that guy said it would pull the lever. So let's just see what this guy says. So. And once again, we got thinking enabled, run that. Imagine a runaway trolley hurtling down the tracks. There's five people on the track, except in this riddle, they have already been deceased. So traditionally you pull the lever to save five lives, lives at the cost of one person. That's the idea about it. Some people, it's debatable whether you do it or not. Let's see what this guy says. The moral calculus is very different from the classic story, classic problem. So it knows about the classic problem. Five people already did, it knows. It knows, it's figured it out. That is, that is good, that's, that's clever. You know, I wanna see how the local version of this runs because we, we have, the, the online one is smashing it. So I've got, this is Inferencer version 1.6. I've already connected my Mac Studio and my, my MacBook Pro running on my distributed compute. RAM wise, we can see that my Mac is using 118 gigabytes of RAM and Inference is using 82.29 gigabytes of the model on this Mac. And on my Mac Studio, my Mac Studio is using 496 gigabytes RAM, of which 462 is the model being loaded. I'm also doing some background operations. Clearly I've got Chrome, I've got OBS, I've got lots of stuff running. I'm even uploading the model that I quantized over to Hugging Face so everyone can play around with it if they choose to. The, the, the model that they've given us is int4, so it's already quantized and it's high quality quantization, but it's too big for my MacBook Pro and MacBooks, Mac Studio together combined. So I had to quantize it down to 4.5 bits per weight. And let's just see how that guy performs. Usually um, that kind of quant is still very, very high quality. So I'm expecting some good results. So they connected up, I'm gonna hit run. So I'm gonna ask the, the first riddle actually. Let's just see if he gets it right. Classic riddle, the key is the assumption the surgeon must be a male. The surgeon says, I cannot operate on the boy, he's my son. It's thinking about, it. this is the thinking mode. We're going at 18.87 tokens a second. So that's very, very fast considering this model is 560 gigabytes of RAM. That's, it's really running. So 
The answer is the boy's father. That is nice. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Wait, I just realized another interpretation. Could the boy's father be a title like a father, a priest? This guy is really overthinking it. The surgeon's boy's creed. Okay, it answered it. It said it was the boy's father. It was meant in a traditional riddle. It, it was meant to be the mother. So it's very, very close to intelligence, even with the quantized version that I've given it. And that is uh, really, really good. I want to check out the token inspection, just see how certain it was it was going to be the father. So it was 99.7% sure it was the father after all that reasoning. And pretty much the other ideas were stepfather, father, and Mandarin as well. So it won. 1-1 one, one local versus the hosted. So mad respects for Kimi K2. Runaway Trolley. We're running this locally. Going 19 tokens a second. 18.4 tokens a second. It's going for it. 18.25 tokens a second. And previously, let's just see. This was 1,800 tokens it produced in the last question. And we got 17.35 tokens a second. So even though it produced almost 2,000 tokens, it was still going at over 17 tokens a second. And that is very, very impressive. No, you should not pull the lever. It's fundamentally different from the classic trolley. It's, it's got it. That, poof, very, very impressive. I like that, I like that. Now, I think what I wanna do is, I wanna give it a contract to analyze and tell me the pros and cons. So let's just see how it does with legal sort of manners. So new chat here, we'll do it online and we'll also do it locally to see what it is. Is this contract acceptable? The broker lists two different addresses. That's not important. 15% says the commissions are extremely high based on this contract. What simple paragraph can I add as an amend addendum? So I'm asking it, it's identified issues with the contract. I've asked it to give a little addendum. I can add to the end of the contract to both of us sign just to make it good. That's not, I thought it was gonna be long. I thought it was going for it, but um, yeah, just basic points, eight points here. Termination expenses, narrowed indemnity. I like that. Any loss, any loss celebrate breach warranties, brokers, insurance, warranty limitation, correction, no blank fields. Yeah, just basic. So I can just copy and paste this and hopefully I'll have a more stronger contract. Let's see how it does locally. So I'm oh, there you go. It's processing the prompt. Now I am running on edge here because I'm also uploading to Hugging Face. And no, without without our memory on the Mac Studio, look at that, we hit we hit the peak over there. So I've got too many applications open on my Mac Studio. I do actually have a backup Kimi K2 Thinking Quant. So I got a 4.25. Let's just see how that one rocks up. Comparison wise, the one I was trying to run, the Q4.5 was 577.6 gigabytes of RAM, whereas this one, the 4.25 is 545 gigabytes. So we've got it loaded on MacBook Pro, 100 gigabytes of RAM used on my MacBook Pro, 76 of it going to the model. And on my Mac Studio, it's healthily loading it. Hopefully we're gonna have that 30 gigabytes of context window, so we should be able to do those tests we had planned as well. And while that's doing that, let's jump in and let's do a coding challenge. I wanna do this 3D solar system again, because that was always good. So I want a spectacular demo for 3D solar system using 3JS. I've said spectacular because I want it to be good. I want the best you can get and I want it with thinking enabled. I'm not gonna make it search the web. I don't need that. I just want it thinking hard and seeing how good you can do. Let's go. I want a spectacular demo 3D solar system using 3JS. That is a nice prompt. Very, very basic, but let's just see how it goes. The longest piece of code I've seen in my life, but let's just see how it does. All right. So we got a nice solar system running here. No compile errors. It's not spectacular. I mean, it is spectacular if I've seen it for the first time. I've done this test a few times. It's definitely gorgeous. Look, you've got stars around the back. Everything's spinning. It looks, looks good. Everything's moving. You've got Saturn's rings. I want to say, I want to say, can you make it more spectacular? Let's just see how it handles that. Because I, I want a bit of wow factor. Oi, okay, that's more like it. Look at that. Oh man, I remember back in the day, I used to play this game, shout out to Alan. I used to play Wing Commander. I love that game. It was one of the best games ever. The storyline, the gameplay, everything. And I reckon we can just get a little spaceship 
going here and just flying around this asteroid belt. Is it possible to add in a spaceship? We're going for it. We're going crazy. We're going to see if this is possible. It's thinking. It's definitely a super smart model. So let's just see how it does. Actually, wait up, check this out. We actually do have a spaceship. It was just hidden behind the sun. And I don't know how to control it. But it's doing some stuff. You can go forward. You can go left. You can go right. You can spin around. Okay, that is cool. That is cool. Definitely very impressive. And we're in. Let's see if it's still coherent. I'm going to ask it about the surgeon just for my sanity. And tokens a second wise. Oh, this one's fast. 24 tokens a second. <laughs> Quantization is awesome. You know, in the future, we're going to be more intelligently quantizing these models. We, we're getting into layer scanning to find out exactly which tokens and which ones are most important depending on task at hand. So this one's 23 tokens a second. It is a lot faster than before. And I'm actually running OBS on my MacBook Pro, so it's still running really, really well. So step parents, the same sort of logic. Who's the boy's father? Yeah, the surgeon is the boy's father. And is it just as convinced? 100% certain it was previously on the 4.5 bits per width. We were 4. Point, we were 99.99, we were 99 point something. This is 100% convinced it's the father. Everything's fathered. So this is a very, very smart model over there. Let's make sure the trolley, it doesn't do anything wrong in that situation as well. No, I would not pull the lever. Five people are already dead. This is definitely still smart. Q4.25, still getting the answers right. This is the bulk contract. It's 4,000 tokens to prompt processing. Last time we ran out of memory. How are we doing on the RAM? This time around, we're at 461 gigabytes on the Mac Studio. That's good. And we're at 113 gigabytes on the MacBook Pro. 115, 114, but I am recording OBS. And you're back. I'm recording the screen. So let's see what happens. We're at 3000 tokens and we got it. Yep, it did it. So previously it wasn't working. It was just too much RAM it required, but this one is doing it. It's thinking about it. It's coming up with the answers. So I'm happy with that. Now let's jump into the coding exercise. I might just start this one off afresh just to make sure it doesn't go down the wrong track. So I'm going to batch this up. So as soon as it's finished doing the boat contract is going to jump in and do the 3GS demo. It's going at 15 tokens a second. We're at 500 tokens, but also obviously the context window is 4,500 plus because the prompt was 4,000 tokens. That's a lot of mathematics that's doing at the moment. Memory wise, we're actually going down to 109. So that was good and 465, but it's definitely coherent. So run it online and locally if you've got the hardware. I'm going to upload this version of the, the quantized version of the model. It's definitely very, very smart. Moderate red flags, excessive fees, the same sort of thing that we were getting online. So that's, that's definitely nice. And the fact that it's running and it hasn't crashed like before. Very, very happy. And this is distributed to compute. We're getting, we're getting our MacBook Pro and our Mac Studio to talk together, to be friends, to tackle the Timmy Kimmy K2 thinking challenge. Boom. So we got 2000 tokens printed, 4000 tokens processed. And we got results, so that's good. 6,000 tokens, 456 gigabytes memory used on the Mac Studio, 108 gigabytes used on the MacBook Pro. Definitely healthy amount of context window to play with. Let's jump into the coding challenge. We're at 19 tokens a second. I have a feeling that OBS is hogging my resources because it was definitely running a lot faster, 25 tokens a second initially when we first started. All right, so we are done. It's produced around 4,500 tokens. It's a lot of code there. But let's just see how it performs. So this is the online version that was made. Loading. Wow. That is gorgeous. <laughs> it's, that's actually, that's actually, I, I, I'm going to say it. It's nicer than the online version. Obviously, this is a bit more sane. It's, it's beautiful, 100% sane, definitely definitely beautiful. But this is a bit more spectacular, especially it comes with the asteroid field. A bit retro, the plants are going fast. You do also get a bit of controls here. Speed, extra super fast, super slow. Yeah, wow. That is a good job. That is that is a good job. I wonder if I can talk to it. It says, um, can, can you add in a spaceship? It's thinking about it. So it's definitely comprehending what I wrote. It can do some stuff. So it's definitely very, very smart. All right, guys. So what do you guys think of Kimmy K2 Thinking Edition? Definitely the smartest model, uh, heavy mode, 51 in humanity's last exam. 
So these models are just super, super good. And we haven't even used tool calling yet. We're throwing tool calling in there. It's going to be super smart. So that is amazing. We get it run locally now. And I'll be uploading that 4.25 version because it's working. So that's good. You've got enough memory if you do have enough computers. And uh, just if, even if you don't, in a couple of years time, you will. So it's, it's definitely there. It's going to be good for you. What do you guys think of Kimi K2 thinking? Check it out. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Tokens a second wise, oh, this one's fast. 24 tokens a second. Actually, wait up, check this out. We actually do have a spaceship, the longest piece of code I've seen in my life. Loading, wow, that is gorgeous.